Okay, well, um, sun's coming out. It's a little bit blustery, but that's alright. Well, um, I'm going to shoot these nostrils first. Chili. Looking good. So this, this is actually a pretty tight little group. It's two of them are through the same bloody hole. And one's a little bit over, a little further over. That, that could have been from uh, just changing it around. I don't know, it's getting a bit technical for me. Just feeds so nice. Oh, good enough for hunting 100 yards. Nice one. Weather's primo now, the sun's come out, there's still a bit of that wind, but uh, it's nothing too bad. So, that's group one, that's with the 120 grain Nossa factories. Group two, same, same, um, same load. Group three, that's with the 140 grain Sierras and the AR2209 and then group 4 which is a little bit more open, that's probably me or it could be a little bit of wind but um, I'm going to put it down to probably my shooting. So 100 yards, you know, easy getting, easy an inch, sub, sub MOA, so primo. Well, after a big day, um, I finally managed to pick up a bull, and I'm um, I'm really stoked because uh, I was just sure I was getting that was about half past three, and I was I was thinking about going home and uh, heading heading back to the car, and then I just picked out this guy. Little mention to the Moors M12 and 6.5. Um, I'm really stoked with how this has performed on this trip too. I've peeled out a wall, I peeled out a uh, fallow and a wallaby, and now tar. So, um, I love this gun, it's awesome. I'm, I think Hugh might be a little bit disappointed though because I've, I've put a couple of scratches and stuff in it. But I hope he won't be too upset because um, it's been tested. And it does the job. Yeah, beautiful. Ooh, there's a couple of scratches on that. Oh well. You can consider that one endorsed. So just to... Um, Finish up on the review for the um, Moors M12 Extreme. Um, I've had it for, I've been hunting with it for a few weeks now. Um, I've taken it down south on tar and wallaby and um, some fallow. Um, and overall, I mean, as to be expected, it performed fairly well. Um, I found the bolt really nice to work. It's got very, very smooth action. Zero play, which the Moors are called this zero play. Um, and it sort of feeds, feeds for also really. It's really good. Um, nice crisp trigger, really crisp trigger actually, sort of comparable to a Sarko. Um, it's got sort of a um, hogish type feel stock to it. 
very comfortable, nice and grippy. I've carried a few times in the Comenos and it was a little bit wet and um, um, it was fine, it was found it fine to carry through the bush. Uh, it's got the nice butt pad. Um, you can actually get you can actually get different putt pads to um, help with the length of pull to extend or shorten the length of pull. One of the other features, well, one of the, the features is what Moore's um, what's called Moore's smooth roll safety. You can sort of see that in there. It's a three position swing safety. So um, first position is obviously locked and and um, safety on, and then safety on. You're able to cycle rounds for um, unloading uh, with safety on. And then of course uh, in the firing position, so she's all ready to go. Uh, what else did I mention about it? Ah, the magazine. So the magazine, pretty pretty standard mag box magazine. Um, it's got a really nice little sort of inleted uh, magazine release here. Flip that, little grooves. Now it comes. Um, this is holds five, six point five by fifty five or five um, eight by fifty seven. Uh, for this particular mag, I think once you go up, when you sort of step up into, I think it's uh, into the magnum cartridges, you'll only hold four things like semi rear mag and stuff like that. And that pops in quite nicely there. <laughs>